Today, the city's bidding for the uh, Winter Games. Amsterdam, 1970. Hello there. The members of the, oh gracious, the members of the, hurry up my dear, of the IOC. We're running a red light right now, I think. The CBC's Ted Reynolds puts his life on the line to bring well, Canadians the story of Vancouver's really bid to host the 1976 Winter Olympics. you got to remember to give signals when you're on a bicycle. Whoops! Vancouver Garibaldi, enthusiastically supported by the provincial and federal governments and all its citizens, can be Canada's first Olympic site. Bidding for an Olympics was much simpler 33 years ago. I'll give you an illustration. No one ever talked about the road to Whistler, and there was no road. I mean, hardly any road at all. I mean, that was not an issue. Uh, secondly, all the games, everything about the games, were going to be built at Whistler. I mean, I remember an, an arena of 10,000 people. There was nothing in Whistler. Uh, we brought this map along tonight. Because to there was nothing, maps and models were used to show what the Olympics would look like at Whistler. The bid had the enthusiastic support of the W.A.C. Bennett provincial government, and by all accounts, it was well received by the I.O.C. Here's Reynolds with bid chair and Sid Young immediately following the presentation. Sid Young, that was a tremendously long session. How come you were in so long? Well, we were having a lot of fun. Uh, this is a culmination of a uh, ten years' work for many, many people. We had a lot to say. The committee seemed to want to listen, so we said. They may have listened, but they sure didn't vote for Vancouver. In fact, out of the four cities bidding, Vancouver finished dead last with a pitiful nine votes. Denver won the bid. Sion, Switzerland was second. Tampere, Finland, third. But none of those cities were responsible for Vancouver's downfall. No, back in 1970, the city that did us in was Montreal. Back then, summer and winter Olympics were held in the same year. First of all, Montreal had had Expo. And, and Mr. Drapeau was a pretty sharp guy, no if buts or maybe. He had had, he had every IOC member and his wife and family as his special guests to Montreal. So, uh, I mean, now it would be not allowed. I don't think anybody really in their heart of hearts thought that we were going to get it. They thought we might make a little bit, a little bit better showing than, than being last and <laughs> dead last. But uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't think that there was any... Uh, real tears shed or anything like that. So you're satisfied it was a good presentation? I'm very satisfied. In fact, the way Reynolds remembers it, the Vancouver Garibaldi crew got over losing pretty quickly. We sort of said, oh gosh, Garibaldi didn't get it. Let's go to the Montreal party. We, we, we immediately transferred our affection and, and everything to Montreal because Drapeau did put on a tremendous party, believe me. Now the story doesn't end there. Although Denver won the right to host the 76 Winter Olympics, it had to forfeit after a civic vote against spending public money to build the facilities. The city the IOC approached to step in? Vancouver. But by then, the provincial government had changed, and so too had the level of support for a Vancouver Olympics. There's no way. The IOC's overtures were not warmly received by Premier Dave Barrett. You know, if anybody uh, wants an example of taxpayers' uh, money going up the Olympic flume, take a look at uh, what's happened in Quebec.